welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be taking place in one of the Essex League cross countries. Now this is the fourth Essex League of the season. I missed the other three races because I was away in Kenya. And the way the league works is basically you need to do at least four or five races to be competitive in the lead, to score points. So today the race doesn't really mean um, that much to me in terms of even if I do well it doesn't really matter, if I do badly it doesn't really matter. Hence why I just thought I'd come down and see where my fitness is at, do it as a bit more of a session. Um, but there's some big names in the race in terms of Essex runners, so it'll be nice to see where I'm at in terms of fitness compared to those guys. Um, I'm down here in Colchester, which is my hometown, about 20 minutes from where I live now, um, for yeah, round four of the Essex League at Hilly Field. So, yeah, going to go down there now, get stuck in, see how I fare over eight and a half kilometres, I think, of mud. I'm quietly looking forward to it after a good session in the week on the softer surfaces. So, yeah, my sister and her boyfriend Dan are coming down to watch, so it should be a good morning of racing. So it's now 11.45, so exactly an hour before the race starts at 12.45. I usually like to start my warm-up about an hour before, so I'm running a little bit late, but I've got to pick up my number, find some pins, maybe even change a few of the spikes on the bottom of my um, cross-country spikes because they're a little bit worn down. Hopefully my chance for teammate Seb's got a few extra ones for me. All part of the fun, I'm sure I've got plenty of time. An hour till the race starts, so if anything I have to rush my warm-up a little bit, I'm sure it'll be fine. But yeah, no expectations for today's race. Just see how I feel. I'm gonna try and um, be competitive otherwise there's no point really doing it and score some points for Chelmsford. Even though I won't be able to individually score in the league, I can still score for uh, my team, my club, Chelmsford AC. Um, so we got the chance of maybe winning today's match. Um, I doubt it, but we'll give it a good try. Just looking forward to getting stuck into some competitive running again. There we go, last stride done. Just about to head down to the start now. There's plenty of people here in the men's race. Let's see how we get on. There's the family. See you later. Thank you. Woo! Back on the start line, eh? There's plenty of people, right. Let's go get involved. <laughs> This is what cross country is like for the family. We literally are running across the course to find him. Come on, Mum! I'm coming! Bloody hell, feels like we're taking part in the race. Oh, mate, let's push. 
Love it. <laughs> yeah, mate. Good job. Really well done. Um, Good job. <laughs> Come on. Oh, enjoy that? Yeah. Oh, enjoy that. Well, mate. Oh, Excellent, mate. Good Did you win? How is it? Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Well, done. well done, mate. Good running. Oh, yeah, you. Really good. Well done, mate. Good running. Well Excellent. Too bad, was it? Enjoyed it. Came through well there. Well, he was, he was nine here. Yeah. And I think you finished seven. I was going to say six or seven. Yeah. Seven, I think. Top ten, brilliant. Yeah, happy that. Very good, yeah. Well done. Yeah, yeah points to the chance. In my head, I was like, if I've made the top ten, that's, be that's happy. good. That'll be, yeah. be happy. I didn't want to go with the front group and then get halfway and be dead. The three that went out in front yeah. were, well, way, way more. Yeah. So I just got back from the cross country and the results have been published. Um, I ended up finishing in 7th place today, I was really chuffed with that um, considering uh, coming back from injury. I thought to myself before the race, if I can come in the top 10 that would be really good but I thought more realistically I'd probably end up coming about somewhere between 15th and 20th. So to come 7th I think I surprised myself a little bit. Um, it was a two lap course so I started a little bit more conservatively. Um, I didn't have the confidence today to go off with that front group uh, and I'm glad I didn't. I sort of settled into my own rhythm um, and after the first lap I think I was in 14th place but I knew that I was going to be able to work through the gears, I wasn't going flat out. So as the race went on I slowly picked off um, people and yeah felt really really good. I, I was expecting to, to blow up a little bit but because um, I think I started a little bit more conservatively relative to the guys out in front um, I was able to reel them in and I didn't blow up which was really good. The heels felt really easy um, obviously running in in Kenya the, the little bit of running that I did get to do is all very undulating so when the hills came um, I felt confident and I would often catch people up um, going up the hills with about two kilometers to go I could see the sort of chase pack ahead of me there was about four or five guys working uh, together up ahead of me and I knew if I could catch them up I would go from 11th place all the way up into the into the top 10 so I managed to catch up with the guy in 11th then I took him and then on the uphill section the final uphill section I managed to take another four people and finished seventh and had a little bit of a sprint finish with my teammate Zach as well which is always good fun to be honest with you I thought I had him when I caught him up and I gave him some encouragement as I went past him was because I knew the other guys that I had overtaken would had started their sprint finish so I didn't want to bring another couple of guys past Zach but he responded um, and I stupidly let him get the inside line coming into that last corner and I just couldn't get past him in that finish line. We literally finished within uh, centimetres of each other and we always have good rivalry. So yeah, it was good to have a good sprint finish with Zach. I didn't expect to be uh, anywhere near uh, him, to be honest with you, but I think he's coming back from uh, injury as well. I think he recently ran like 31.50 over 10k, 31.40 maybe. So I think that's roughly where I'm at in terms of fitness. All in all, a good day. Leg felt absolutely fine. Um, it was a really good course, very quick. I think I averaged 3.25 per kilometre, which on that hilly terrain was was pretty good. It was very runnable today. Uh, there was only maybe two or three sections that were really boggy. Everything else was sort of, you could have been wearing trail shoes and you'd have been all right. So yeah, really enjoyed that. That was the Essex League Cross Country. If you want to get involved in some cross country races in the UK, then I'd recommend getting involved with your local athletics club. And there's local leagues across the county, across the country for each county. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that one. Aspire to run, run to inspire and we'll see you again soon.